Hi, welcome to Easy Math. Your math lessons are made easier. In this video, we'll be talking about multiplication of fractions. It may be a little weird, but multiplying fractions are actually easier than adding or subtracting them. And the reason it is easier is because fractions are really just division problems. And multiplication and division get along much better than addition and division. Let's begin. Now, since fractions are division, that means if I have a problem 1 half times 3 fourths is the same as the problem 1 divided by 2 times 3 divided by 4. That means I have both multiplication and division in the same problem. And because they get along so well, that means I can just rearrange our problem to look like this. Now, it looks like two multiplication problems that are being divided, and it looks just like a fraction. In fact, if we go ahead and do multiplications, 1 times 3 equals 3, and 2 times 4 equals 8. Then we do have a fraction, and it's the answer to our problem. So, what does this all mean? Well, it means that to multiply fractions, all you have to do is multiply the top numbers and then multiply the bottom numbers, and there's your answer. As always, let's see some examples. Let's try this problem, 2 thirds times 2 fifths. Now we could rewrite the problem like we just saw, but that's not necessary as long as we remember the procedure first. We know our answer is going to be a fraction, so let's go ahead and write a new fraction line for it. Next, we multiply the top numbers, 2 times 2 equals 4. So 4 is the top number of our answer. And last, we multiply the bottom numbers, 3 times 5 equals 15. So 15 is the bottom number of our answer. There we have it. 2 over 3 times 2 over 5 equals 4 over 15. Let's try another example, 2 over 3 times 5 over 8. Sometimes when you multiply fractions, you may be able to reduce the answer to the lowest terms. And as a math rule, our answers must be in reduced fractions. When multiplying fractions, you can often make the job easier by canceling out equal factors in the numerator and denominator. That makes the number you're multiplying smaller and easier to work with, and it saves you the trouble of reducing at the end. Coming back to our example, we know that 2 and 8 have the common factors 2, which means we can rewrite them this way, 1 times 2 and 4 times 2. Since dividing to the same numbers equals 1, we can simply cross them out, which leaves us 1 and 4. Once we already crossed out the common factors, we can now multiply our top numbers. 1 times 5 equals 5, then our bottom numbers, 3 times 4 equals 12, and that's our answer. 2 over 3 times 5 over 8 equals 5 over 12. Alright, let's see one last example. Here it is. 1 over 14 times 7 over 3 times 3 over 5. Wait a minute. This has three fractions multiplied together and that middle one looks like an improper fraction. Does our procedure work for this problem too? Yes, all we have to do is simplify our top numbers first by finding common factors and as soon as we've already simplified them, then multiply the top numbers together and the bottom numbers together. 14 and 7 can be written as 2 times 7 and 1 times 7 since they have the common factors 7. Cross them out and that leaves us 2 and 1. But wait, what about 3 and 3? Can we cross them out too? Yes, since 2 the same numbers divided together gives us 1. Now we can apply our procedure. Multiply all the top numbers together and then multiply all the bottom numbers together and we'll have our answer. So at the top, we have 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And on the bottom, 2 times 1 times 5 is 10. That means our answer is 1 over 10. So there you have it. Multiplying fractions are easy because fractions are just another way of writing division problems. In our next video, we'll be doing division of fractions. Don't want to miss our next video? Subscribe on our channel by simply hitting the subscribe button and see you in our next video.